8.57 on Monday morning. Pearson's at school, Hayden's at school, and I just dropped Miss Stevie K off. But guess what I have to do? Hayden cries on box. <laughs> and uh, his school is, he's going to a different school than is, he's supposed to for his dist for where we live for the district so it's like um a 20 minute drive to a school no big deal no big deal we got this but um and i would normally say you know what you're gonna eat school lunch today son i am not bringing your lunch box first of all they get school lunch for free but I made an extra effort this morning and I uh, made their, I made those little, I don't know if y'all watch my version, little mini corn dogs, primed, ther primed thermoses and made, not cooked, because they're already cooked, you just gotta warm up, but warmed up those little mini hot dog thing, corn dogs in the oven and just made a special little lunch for him this morning and I just feel like that would be all for a waste if I didn't take it to him. So, <laughs> today is going to be kind of a vloggy cleaning type situation. We were pretty much gone all weekend. Um, it was kind of a spur of the moment type thing. Well, part of it was. Saturday, we went to a truck show in Maggie Valley. It, it was this, it's called the C, C10s in the Valley. And um, so Jeff and I were gone pretty much all day. And then yesterday we went to the Apple Orchard. We went to, it's called Sky Top Apple Orchard. Never been to that one before. We usually go to Granddad's. But we decided since Granddad's didn't have anything to pick from, like you couldn't pick there's no what they call you pick there, but Sky Top had like seven or eight different varieties you could pick from. So we decided to go there. And it was like, when you go to a, somewhere for the first time, you just kind of like don't know what to do and don't know where to go to do this. And you need to like hurry up and decide what you're gonna do because the place was packed and there's lines everywhere. Because, you know, you got kids with you. They they have no patience. Like, this much patience for things. They want to go do things now. Anyways, so we were gone all weekend. So, my house is trashed. What's new? That's really not an excuse. Because my house is trashed all the time anyway. Well, I'm pulling in here to get gas. And that one has a bag over it. So, i got to go to a different one. Anyways. Um, so, I figure I'm going to... Um, clean my house something today. But first I need gas before I head up to Hayden's school. Um, yeah, so let's get started on today's video. Thanks for being here, guys. Oh, my hair looks like trash today, too, by the way. Holding back, I got history. I'm back home. Just disregard the randomness on my stove. I, I, I don't know. There's kids here. Um, hash browns. And I'm about to make me an egg to go with this. Gotta get some nourishment before I get to work cleaning. I'm telling y'all. Okay, I started laundry yesterday. But this place is in disregard. Look. Y'all know, I've told y'all about the cabinet situation. Look at it. It's standing open over there, just waiting on somebody to get injured. The kitchen. 
Kitchen's not bad. It's not too bad. Anyway, um, yeah, so the hallway is looking kind of cray. I mean, it's just, this is just my house. This is normal. We just, we live here. There's people in here. I got the kids, um, winter, like, hoodies and pants and stuff out. I'm gonna start putting that stuff back in their closets and drawers and stuff because it's starting to get a little cool here in the mornings. So, I brought that stuff up from the basement. As soon as I get done eating, we'll get started on this. It's the bedrooms are just... <laughs> Actually, I don't think they're that bad. But the beds need to be made. Don't... Am I, am I just crazy? Or don't y'all think, like... If you make your bed, it, like, totally makes the room look, like, ten times more straightened. I don't know. It's just... I've always felt that way. I felt like if you leave your bed unmade, it just looks like the whole room's a mess. Anybody else? Or is that just me? A typical morning for me looks like this. We're going to come home from dropping children off, eat breakfast, and then we're going to start cleaning <laughs> the destruction from the night before. I typically start in the back part of my house, which is Hayden's room and make the bed pick up the floor they put their own laundry away that's what this basket is that i just said on his bed is clean laundry i will wash them fold them and then he has to put them away i do that for him and harrison tell me why there is a black latex glove in my kids floor you just never know what you're going to find in a little boy's room, I'm telling you. But we got Hayden's room all cleaned up, and we're going to move on to my room. Our house is so small, you guys. We have outgrown this house, like, by far. And we can definitely move, but I love our neighborhood. I love where we live. Our neighbors are awesome. My daddy lives two doors down. It's just, I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. <laughs> So anyway, um, things get out of hand here. Things get out of order here so fast because the house is so little. People just use things and drop them where they are instead of putting them right back where they go. <laughs> I, I feel like I am good at making sure to put things back after I use them. But, you know, everybody gets in a hurry and nobody's perfect. So... Jeff and I did just get a new mattress not too long ago. It's a purple plus mattress and you guys, the hype, I don't understand because I mean, it's nice, yeah, but for the money, no, absolutely not. I, I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't get the hype. I just don't get it. Need to paint in here, but you know, we'll get to that. I'm gonna move on to Harrison's room. His room is usually the messiest. I swear he's gonna be like a frat leader whenever he um, goes to college because I swear he just gets up in the middle of the night and parties or something, I don't know. Gonna turn me on some Annie Elise and listen to a true crime YouTube video. I love her channel. And get Mr. Harrison's room tidied up. Jeff and I have made a joke that we are not going to paint in our house until these children move out because they just make such a mess and the walls just, you can paint and they'll just be back dirty or scratched up or something the next week. It's crazy. So Claire has a little spot here where we keep some of her clothes and we went to the apple orchard on Sunday and I think she changed her outfit like four or five times and just Throw it on top of the dresser there. So putting that clean stuff away. And I'm going to go ahead and vacuum in Harrison's room. Harrison's carpet and the living room carpet need to be changed out. It's the last two rooms in the house that have carpet. And I am sick of this carpet. Don't ever put Berber down if you can help it. Because Berber is terrible. We're going to change it out for some Pergo pretty soon. And I cannot wait. Let me know down in the comments where you guys drop your laundry when it's clean. Because mine is my kitchen table every single time. I don't know why, but I just, I just bring it up and it goes for a couple of days until I can put it together or put it away. They say it takes um, 
an hour to wash and an hour to dry and five to ten business days to put laundry away. <laughs> I believe that's true. However, I would love it if it was this quick to actually fold towels and put them away. A few of y'all had asked about my sliding glass door here. Um, the blinds are made into the door, which is great because guess what? You don't have to dust them blinds, friend. <laughs> but the parts that make the blinds go up and down are not very child friendly, if you get what I'm saying. One of ours has broken off, but we can still, you know, operate the blinds if we need to, but <laughs> it's real fun around here. All right, the last thing on my list is to tackle this kitchen really quick and just get it back in order. I'm telling you in the mornings, it just feels like a tornado rolls through this house. Everything is just everywhere. I made Jeff coffee this morning and he didn't drink it. Shame on him. And we have like 10 gallons worth of apples over here that we got from the apple orchard on Sunday. And I don't know what in the world I'm gonna do with all these apples. I'm gonna have to find something to bake. So leave me some suggestions down in the comments, guys, please. <laughs> Woo, girl. Woo, hot mess right now. Jeff just called me and needs something to meet for lunch. And how could I possibly turn that down? Did I get done with everything that I intended to do? By golly, no. That never happens. I mean, that's just my normal life. I was going to sweep and mop. Didn't get to do that. What else? Oh, yeah. I didn't get to wipe down the countertops. I'll do that when I get back.
I will do that when I get back because I do that every day. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go meet my husband for lunch now. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. For now. Okay, so I finished up lunch with Jeff and now I am picking up Miss Stevie Kate. Those four hours between nine and one when she's at Mother's Morning Out fly by. I'm just barely able to pick up the house from the night before. Got my girl. Say hey Stevie. Hey. <laughs> Did you have a good day? Were you good? The teacher said you were the line leader today. Was that fun? Well, good. Stevie, let's show everybody your fit for the day. If you watched my grocery haul, you would see, you would have seen that she got this shirt. Very cute. She's got on her new blue jeans. And check out the baby Jordans. Yes, nice. We have completed the look with a bow in her hair to hold her hair back out of her eyes. <laughs> You're so cute. I love you. Friends, I'm going to go ahead and say TTFN ta-ta for now. If you have never watched Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> and my pat pat. Yeah, you want to rub it in? You're showing everybody your pat pat. Rub it in. Go ahead. You know everybody thinks that you should probably stop using a pat pat but they can get over it right <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for joining me for today i just kind of wanted to do a little hangout with me while there are no children around and i can get some stuff done so i hope that maybe i don't know maybe i gave you some motivation to clean your house and um Trust me, things are still not 100% here, but a little cleaner than it was. But I hope to see you guys in the next video. Subscribe if you're new. Go ahead and hit that uh, thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.